Um, liaison to council member non motion is there? Ah, yes. My name is Peter Hamilton, and I work for Councilmember Rocha, who's the liaison. Um, my coworker Jackie, who normally staffs this commission, is at another meeting tonight, so I, am, I will do my best to fill in for her. Uh, so she typed up some notes, um, just based on past questions and other things that are going on for me to, to report to you. Uh, so the first thing is the city's budget process. Um, just at its meeting uh, this past Tuesday, the city council approved the mid-year budget which is the adjustment to um, the city budget that happens sort of in the middle of the budget year. So if we're ahead on some things or behind on other things, we kind of true it up. And if we take extra money that we may find in the budget and put it towards you know, urgent needs that, that may arise during the year. Um, so it's generally fairly minor adjustments. It's not a big adjustment to the city budget. Um, the, the approval of the, the budget for the, uh, the next fiscal year um, and this, the city's fiscal year uh, starts on July 1st and ends on June 30th. So the current fiscal year will end on June 30th, 2015. And leading up to that point, during the spring, the council will uh, develop a new budget. Um, and uh, the, the, uh, the Rules Committee today actually just adopted uh, the, the, uh, the schedule for that budget process that has all of the, the important dates, um, and it's on the Rules Committee agenda for today. Um, I brought copies in case anyone would like to look, um, but if you if you are, if you want want to see it, you can look on the rules committee agenda. And Mr. Chair, uh, I'll drop copies that you picked up on the way in. Oh, okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, okay, and so that's that's uh, just a quick update on the budget process. But if you have questions, I would be happy to answer them on that. Um, so just a few other quick notes. Um, we're, the city is now currently accepting applications to, uh, for the Senior Commission. Um, seats in Council Districts 3 and, district, and Council District 9 are available. So if, anyone, if you know anyone who would like to apply, um, the applications are available on the clerk's website. Uh, and just a few quick updates for things uh, that the Council has done recently. On February 3rd, um, they approved um, the Destination Home Community Plan to End Homelessness which is kind of a high-level strategy for the next few years about how to reduce homelessness in San Jose and uh, provide new housing. Um, on February 10th, um, the council uh, voted to um, approve an ordinance to um, allow the discharge of firearms in San Jose. Um, it has to do with the wild pig problem that is uh, plaguing some districts in the city. Uh, and if, if uh, people have the appropriate license from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, they can discharge a firearm. The idea is they trap the pig and then um, they dispatch it with a firearm so that they don't have to transport it out of the city limits to, um, to kill it. And uh, on January 27th, um, the council uh, approved um, an initiative to establish an Office of Immigrant Affairs. Um, which would sort of coordinate efforts to um, support immigrants in San Jose and also uh, to uh, coordinate with other nonprofits and with the County of Santa Clara uh, pending the upcoming change in the immigration rules nationally. Um, so those are the quick updates I have, but if anyone has any questions, I would be happy to answer them. And I think we're going to talk more about the budget later on today, and there is a special, there's a public meeting when? Uh, well, that's a good question. March um, yeah, so March 7th, 2015 is the uh, Neighborhood Association Youth Commission Priority Setting Session. Which you need through RSVP for to get, be sure you get a seat. Yes. Any questions from the, uh, from the, <coughs> from the commission? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Larry. Uh,